<laughs> All right, track day testing with a Yamaha R1. Well, that was a cool freaking bike. I know the 2025s are out and the new winglets look pretty dope, but this thing's still pretty badass. Jesus, I have brands make a new bike. It's like brand new, man. What's that? It's like brand new. Brand new. 747 <laughs> miles. She just broke in. We picked it up from Yamaha and brought it straight to the racetrack. Nice. Best way to do any super sport, right? Exactly. <laughs> you ready to roll? So, yeah. <laughs> or I'll just stall the thing. Weird. Interesting. So weird when you can't hear the engine like to justify like your throttle control. <laughs> oh, so cool though. We finally get an R1 on the track. What up? Oh, shit. Oh, God, baby. Yes. Okay, second gear. See, that's going to be the weird part. It's always being on twins. Like, I can roll this through, like, no gear whatsoever. Oh, look at that quick, quick zipper. It's dope. Oh, yes. And auto blipper. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, I'm sure these little street tires are nice and cold. Will be nice for at least a lap. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I got freaking regular shift, not GP ship. So Willy Bob. Yeah. It's so crazy. It feels like it kind of feels like the torque of like my R7, even though I'm in like the wrong gear. <laughs> I don't even have to think about that one. Let's go. It feels so good when we over too. And that comes up so easy. Second gear, god damn. So much freaking power in this thing, guys. That front end just wants to come up so bad. Woo! Oh man, I wish I could fucking just get it. Oh, only in third gear. I guess it doesn't matter right now. Let's see if we can weave our way through all this. We should be like in first gear for shit like that. Oh man, that rear end feels so good, guys. It's so hard to like explain. Now, this is a riding experience, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. I'll get him on the next one. Make sure we're primed in second here. Oh, and I can feel the tires moving. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> slip the rear. Thank you, TC. Awesome. All these tires, no way. Gotta have slicks. There's way too much more. So glad I did this. The first time I rode one, it was like I had very little track experience and I didn't get to enjoy it much. And you know all the electronics are on these things. down oh that sucks oh this thing is freaking legit ladies and gentlemen oh my god i shouldn't be riding this they're totally gonna ruin it for me no man down oh no, not an r7 god just listen to that you know, what i was kind of worried about worried a bit about worried about while riding an r1 was it i had the feeling that it just wasn't going to be like how do I say that? Ah, I'm gonna spit it out here for you guys. I just didn't think it would be this playful. Like this thing tips over so amazingly well. I mean, I ride my R7 pretty well. I raced it last year and it's just, it feels so, it feels so rigid. Like it doesn't want to return and I gotta like force it into corners. And I'm not feeling that at all on this motorcycle. And then of course that traction control helping me like in that corner, like I completely lost the rear twice in the same corner and you could and it's almost like i don't want to say the traction control is not invasive at all but i'm sure like the harder you push the more you're going to notice it i'm sure pros out there are, like turn the damn thing off 
but for me like I know it kicked in I felt it kick in but just so so just ever so slightly to the point where it would not bother me like for example if you've done a lot of riding where you're on a track or you know grabbing that front brake so freaking hard you're picking up the rear tire and if you have ABS on your motorcycle maybe you're triggering your front uh, triggering the front sucks in my opinion on a track which is why most of the time you turn ABS off that feeling is invasive I can't say the right word it uh, it makes you nervous when that ABS is triggering I figured traction control would do the same and it did not feel or make me feel nervous I just felt the rear drop and the uh, bike grab traction again whatever it did in between whether it was shutting off electronics or shutting down throttle it did it very fast it did it very smooth and I didn't notice it so I think that's freaking amazing I don't need one of these motorcycles but now I really really want one okay so let's talk about ergos ergonomics baby this really kind of feels like just a little bit better than my r7 uh and the fact that it's i don't want to say it's longer but it sure as hell feels considerably better like it's narrow in the center but wide where your legs are and wide in the uh, ass end area feels so comfortable and it feels like it's just so designed for race man Oh god, that ass and just goes so easily. You barely got to touch the throttle. Oh, the wheelie's so bad! Oh, there I went again. So, that's so crazy. Quickly a slide on you guys. Front tire makes me a little nervous knowing it's not a race tire, but sliding that rear like constantly. Jesus, an absolute effort lift. Whoa! There went the rear. Absolute effort lift. Oh, uh, game over. I should not have rode this. I should not have rode this. What's even cooler, guys, is next week, next Monday, I'll be back out here. But I'll be out here with the Prilia track days for a demo. So I will be riding the RSV4. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys, getting a first real track ride on a Yamaha R1. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!